Hello everybody, my name is of course Griffin, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the door transition that I used in my previous video that you can check out in the card up here. Uh, that was a really cool transition and I wanted to show you how to do it today in Adobe Premiere Pro. Please take note that this is not my own transition, I did not create this, somebody else much smarter than me did. So don't call me out on that. So let's do it. So. Drag your clip onto the timeline, select it with your mouse, and head over to your effect controls. Under the Opacity tab, select the Pen tool, which is the little hand icon, and we're going to begin masking. Zoom in a good amount on your video, and scroll down with the scroll bars all the way to the bottom. Then, select your timeline, and hit your right arrow key a few times until you can first see the door opening. Now click the little stopwatch next to Mask Path in the effect controls to enable the path of the mask to be keyframed, which is what you want. Also select Invert Mask in the effect controls. Reselect the video preview window and click in one of the corners of the skinny rectangle that the door opening has created. Then continue clicking the corners around the opening until you click on the first point again and have created a rectangle. This is your mask. Next, you're going to go ahead with your arrow keys a few more frames, select the mask again, and reposition it to cover the door opening again. Continue this process until the door is fully open and the mask has covered everything. Now, you're going to grab the video clip that you want to transition into. In this case, I have a drone shot here, and I'm going to place it under the clip with the applied mask. Now, if you play back the video, the transition should work. However, there are a few more touch-ups that I like to do to this transition. First of all, add some keyframes for scale so that the clip zooms into the door opening as it plays. This way, we can transition smoothly into the next clip. Now, if we play it in full screen, we have a polished transition. Keep in mind that you can use this effect for many other moving objects than just door frames. This can work for people walking across the screen or even the camera moving in front of a pole. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.